I went to Best Buy and found the cheapest gaming laptop priced at only $480. Today I'm going to be unboxing it, taking a look at its features, and testing out its gaming performance, all to answer this one question. Can you actually get a good gaming laptop for under $500? Now before we can decide anything, let me just quickly unbox this thing. As you guys can tell by the box, this is the HP Victus 15. And yeah, this is a completely brand new laptop as well. So it's not used or anything like that, which is kind of why this price is just so crazy for a laptop like this. All right, guys, I got the top open right here. Now we just got to pull everything out. And it looks like first you actually do get the charging adapter and the power cable open. And in here we got another power cable. Yeah, there's a lot of cables in here, bro. And then of course, you know what we've been waiting for. This is the laptop itself. And something else that's in the box right here is like a instruction manual on how to actually use the laptop. All right, guys, and here is the grand reveal. This is the laptop itself right here, as you guys can tell. And at first glance, it really doesn't even look like a gaming laptop at all it's got this really sleek design super minimalistic now getting the laptop opened up right here you got this like keyboard cover it looks like and yeah this is what the inside of the laptop looks like i mean this keyboard looks really nice by the way it also feels really nice to type on i mean so far guys like this laptop is looking really good especially for the price that you can get it at just gonna get it powered up right here and i'm pretty sure it doesn't even have battery kind of makes sense we just unboxed it so right now i'm just gonna quickly charge it to you know some usable level so we can at least turn it on all right so i just got it charged up to at least like a small amount so let's just turn it on right here this is like really awkward to hold because i'm trying to show you guys but still not getting anything that's kind of concerning oh there we go there we go okay so the keyboard does actually light up right now it is on like a white preset so you guys have probably been wondering what kind of parts does a 480 dollar laptop have so for a quick rundown the cpu powering this whole thing is the ryzen 5 7535hs but also has 8 gigabytes of ddr5 ram a 512 gigabyte ssd to store all your games and finally for the graphics card which is arguably like the most interesting the part your device using a screen reader why is this thing talking to me right now bro what kind of just got interrupted by windows but for the graphics card it's got the rx 6550m my only concern though with this laptop has to be with the ram so i would really recommend buying an extra 8 gigabyte ram stick and just you know plopping it in here it's literally like 20 30 bucks and i'll have some links down below for you know good ram sticks that you can use to upgrade this laptop i know i just yapped for a while so right now i'm just gonna get this laptop fully set up and see how much fps we get but yeah i'll see you guys once i'm done with all that all right guys so it has been quite a little bit of time but right here i got the laptop fully set up as you can see it has windows 11 and it does actually come with this like really important app i'm pretty sure so you can actually open it straight up just by clicking this key right here so it is opening up right here and it's called the hp omen gaming hub and as you guys can see there's a lot of different stuff on the screen right here but pretty much it's like a control center for the whole entire laptop but yeah this is what the laptop looks like it looks really nice i got fortnite installed i'm just gonna get it all you know loaded up and everything into a game thank you to oiwak for sponsoring this video if you're looking for a way to turn your single display laptop setup into a triple screen setup then they have the perfect product for you their portable monitor extenders allow you to easily attach two extra screens to the sides of your laptop you can choose between 14 inches 15 inches and even 16 inches depending on the laptop you have and no matter which version you buy each display will have a stunning 1080p resolution, amazing color vibrancy, and a 60 hertz refresh rate. This means that even if you're doing things like photo editing, work, or gaming, the screens will have no problem keeping up and showing you the most accurate picture quality. It also has two millimeter bezels to maximize the amount of screen space. And with only seven watts of power consumption, you won't have to worry at all about the monitors using too much power from your device. Now you might be wondering, won't an extra two screens added onto your laptop strain your eyes more? Well, OIWAC actually implements implemented a blue light filter built straight into the displays and even an anti-glare panel to reduce eye fatigue. So make sure to check out OIWAC down below to upgrade your laptop experience. All right, guys, so I just loaded into a game of Fortnite right here. So as you guys can see right now, it's getting 144, pretty stable. And that's pretty much the most important thing for this laptop. Play at a stable 144 because that's what the screen is, obviously. And if you guys are wondering, I'm on 1080p and I'm on performance mode, pretty much all low settings. As you guys can see right here, we're almost getting 300 on the fps counter right here we're getting like 270 so um but right now i think we should get into a real game
game. I'm expecting this thing to have quite a lot of stutters because, you know, it does only have 8 gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, guys, we just loaded in on Spawn Island, bro. Like, we are getting 100 FPS right now. It did go back up a little bit, but... And it is stuttering quite a little bit as well, but... I mean, come on, it's Spawn Island. There's like 100 people all loading in, and it's just a lot of things for the laptop to load in, obviously. But yeah, right here, we're at Restored Reels, it looks like. And yeah, once we get on the ground, the FPS is definitely a lot better. And yeah, I am playing on the laptop keyboard, as you guys can probably already tell. And yeah, it's actually pretty nice, in my opinion. Oh, I hear some shots. Come on, bro. And as I said before, guys, like the 8 gigabytes of RAM is definitely making a huge difference right now in how the game is performing. I mean, just here, you guys can see it's already using 7 gigabytes. So, so that's definitely contributing to some of the stutters we're seeing. Oh, here he is. And he's already building. Come on, bro. Hopefully this kid is not a sweat because... And I just got him. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to lock in right there to get that kill. I just kind of stopped talking. But, bro, I don't know how I just got that kill, bro. That dude was, like, full trying on me. All right. I did hear more shooting over here while I was fighting. So, I'm going to investigate real quick. Oh, I hear a car. Oh my gosh. I tried pre-firing him. 30 blue. I probably shouldn't drop down like this. Oh, I got her marked. Come out of there, little bro. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to fight these kids. Like, I just don't play the game enough to, like, actually try on this dude right now. You know, I can do the old trick in the book. Oh my gosh, that almost just got me killed. The, the freaking shockwave play. That was supposed to help me. All right, bro, my own gun, this, like, auto turret is so annoying. It's, like, shooting out my own walls here. Wait, he's 13 white. Okay. All right, bro. Come on. It's over. Oh, yeah, this kid's shooting me now, too. Oh, my. 113 with this thing. This thing might be, like, the best AR in the game. Oh, he's panicking. Yep, he's panicking. Oh, my gosh. I'm panicking. This, okay, I'm lagging, too, bro. I had that. 30. Oh, please, please. Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys see like the type of people I have to fight here? Like this is actually. Oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Finally got him, dude. Finally got him. Like that actually took way too much work. Like there's no way. That was like five minutes of just pure running away. All right. So we got like five kills right now. Oh, just kid on me just gonna ar and got him okay yeah i i don't know who made this ar but it is kind of broken i'm not even gonna lie oh i hear a kid come here bro get it. oh and okay my car just griefed me come on that was gonna be a perfect kill should we clip him come on come on where's he all right that was not a clip but you know i almost had him there i almost had a clip okay okay he's one of these type of players oh did i just get shot down or was that lag oh yeah i'm lagging oh yep 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 that'll do it yep 70 oh my gosh i just got him one hp as well i'm pretty sure i don't even know how because i was over here struggling please oh 60 Oh, he got the cone. Oh, he got the... Bro, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. This is what happens when you're fighting kids that play 24-7, dude. I still got mats, though, so I'm, like, chilling, but... No way, bro. Bro, my mouse literally just disconnected. I could have probably won that fight as well. Like, that dude was not smart at fighting at all. I guess that's just how Fortnite is today, guys. Um, But, you know, this thing was performing pretty good, not gonna lie. All right, guys, so, you know, we just finished the game right there. You know, it was a bit disappointing at the end. You know, we were doing so good throughout the whole game. We had, like, a medallion. And then my mouse just decided to, you know, disconnect randomly. But anyways, the laptop performed really good, in my opinion. There were a lot of stutters and FPS drops. But I think that was partly due to the fact that that's just how Fortnite kind of is now. And... It also has 8 gigabytes of RAM. Like, as you guys can see, even in the lobby, we're using, like, almost 7 gigabytes. So, I would definitely recommend, if you do buy this laptop, spend the extra, like, $20, $30 on an extra RAM stick. I'll have some links down below. Um, also, make sure to cop this custom mouse pad right here. It's got my logo and everything. Um, super nice design. As you guys can see, like, it literally fits the laptop and the mouse right here. But hopefully, this video helped you guys in buying a gaming laptop or, you know, something similar like that. But, you know, make sure to support the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.